Welcome to the channel, YouTube World, in preparation, anticipation, and excitement of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, despite the reviews both good and bad, I thought that I would simply share with you a little bit of information about the map size. It's something that I like to talk about. You know, just how big is it? You know what I'm saying? And in comparison to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which was 256 square kilometers, however, there was only about... 130 kilometers of that that was actually playable roughly 125 130 valhalla has 140 square kilometers of playable area across all five zones which i wanted to uh, show you i'm obviously going to have a link down below in the description box this is thanks to power picks you must have a team of people working with him because he's just always on top of everything it's crazy so let's just get into it. So this is the first map that you're going to see, I think. Haven't played the game yet. I gotta wait. This is Norway. And as we kind of, you know, just kind of like look down the map a little bit, we can see that it's not, you know, water heavy, if that makes any sense, if that's even a saying. I am just so hyped for this game. It's absolutely unreal. So again, just a little bit zoomed out, kind of gives you a little bit of an idea there. Then we'll go on over to England. Don't ask me what that was. Definitely not a lot of water there on the edge. You can see some here. Uh, but I don't think you're going to be able to use a boat here. Do note that you are able to traverse at your own will, at your own leisure between the maps it's not like you go to the next map and you can't go back to the other one so there you have it there not that this is too exciting but it also showcases too how many uh vista points there are for fast traveling there's a a plethora of them there so again that's england yeah we did norway england we're gonna move on to vinland i'm not gonna lie i know that norway and england are real places i don't know if vinland is based on a real place. I'll Google it after. That's how I get educated. Again, this one here doesn't appear to be a lot of water. Uh, I think there are ships in the game because I think I saw a ship dock on one of the maps. We'll take a look at that in a moment. So again, just a little bit zoomed in. A lot of land. It's exciting to have five distinct areas. I loved Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I have to admit it is nice when you have multiple different areas though i never tired of the whole greek thing so that was really a non-issue again that was vinland going on to asgard doesn't that sound like i don't watch a lot of movies but i could have sworn asgard reminds me of, of a word from lord of the rings i'm not saying that's where it comes from i'm just saying i've heard that word before mentioned in a movie and i don't remember which one it was again i'll have to google this stuff after a lot of these uh waypoints depict something else i'm not too sure what they represent i don't know what that happy face represents but again mainly landmass for the most part and again that was asgard and then jotunheim jotunheim whatever I have no idea. This is the last map. And you'll also see at the bottom right corner too that whole suggested power level. There's no like actual levels. It's a bit more like Ella Destiny, you know, or like Marvel's Avengers or even World of Warcraft, really, because it's more than just, you know, being max level in World of Warcraft. It's all about your item level or your power level or whatever. But in this game, from what I've been told, is that it's not going to be like in the prior entries where you see a skull enemy and you can't take them down. Depending on how you're equipped and how you approach the situation, it's actually still possible for you to one-shot uh, one of the um, people that are way above you. And yes, I got a piece of lint in my eye. So that's that about the map. Again, I'll have a link down below in the description box so that you can kind of read the intricacies, you know, the square kilometer of each little map and, you know, the level 
that they require you to be at and all that kind of stuff. And see, like all these little subsections or whatever you want to call them all have like a power level associated with them. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm super excited. Did you know the Assassin's Creed Valhalla map was the biggest to date in terms of actual explorable land? Did you know it was in five different sections? Did you pre-order the game? Are you waiting? Are you put off by the fact that there's bugs uh, in the game? Supposedly a good amount. Um, from what some of the reviewers have been mentioning. That's not going to bother me too much. I mean, I don't have a choice. I've already pre-ordered the game. I'm confident that Ubisoft is going to patch it, and they're going to address it. Uh, it didn't come across like, like the game was unplayable. You know what I mean? People still very much enjoyed their time in the game. I haven't seen anybody who hasn't enjoyed their time in the game. So yeah, so there you have it. That's it for this video. As always, if you liked it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It actually greatly helps, um, you know, promote the channel and support it. There we go. In terms of the algorithm, if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll just snap it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel after all those wonderful things I say could potentially happen to you, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And hopefully, maybe, I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Because believe you me, this game, I'm going to be covering it like crazy. Like big time. Bye for now.